It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we've got a very familiar box. We all know what's in the box, but tell us what's in the box. This is Booker's Springfield Batch. This is 2024-01. It's April and we're just seeing the 01. We yeah. do tend to get it later in our area, though. We do. It, it's so weird because it's right down the road. So yeah, this one is the first release of this year. It is seven years, seven months, and eight days old. 124.5 proof. Like many bookers, it's in that mid 120s range. Now, I don't know. We'll either. call this one the alfalfa batch. It's got a little cowlick <laughs> <laughs> with the wax. I do like the journey of their wax. It used to be brittle, it used to be tough. Everyone the would complain Creek about it. would also, yeah, it would crumble everywhere. Still get this. Find that later. Uh, you will. Pause for cork pop. Pretty decent. 124.5. Sounds like a radio station if they went that high. <laughs> Tune in to Booker's 124.5. <laughs> Booker's 124.5. Uh, Collar, go ahead. You're on the line from Walla Walla, Washington. But we do like this trend that we've been seeing lately of the seven years and above. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like it's a magic milestone that you have to pass. So it's sort of non scientific. But in 2023, it seemed like uh, all the ones that were over that seven year mark just happened to be received better. Yeah. Even I mean, blind. That's why we do um, we do them blind whenever we choose our favorite. Yeah, that's right. For the year. Um, <laughs> but our favorite last year, 2023-03. Mighty fine batch. Was also over seven years. Mm -hmm. so, just yeah. saying. Just saying. Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? It's nutty. It's nutty. Nutty, brown sugar, like praline. Mm-hmm. Woodsy. Oh, yeah. Like um, um, woodsy butter chips. pecan ice cream. Woodsy notes. Yeah. Oak notes. Little dusty books and <laughs> library. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A little leather. A little fireplace. A little leather. Nice. It smells pretty great, actually. Not, I like all those things. I shouldn't have said actually. That makes actually? me think that it wouldn't have. It smells pretty great. Period. Period. End of sentence. To your help. Oh. 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 Uh, oh. I'm gonna need a second sip. Yeah, for sure. This is my first sip of the day, so it's <laughs> initially I was like, that's kinda harsh, but then I'm like, is it because I haven't had anything to drink today? Yeah. And it's 124.5 proof. I think it's very full. It's very full. It's very full. It's hearty in a way. Mm -hmm. Like it immediate, Ooh, yes. Yum. Pretty soon right there into the chest feels that there Kentucky hug. Yeah, hearty. I would say it's hearty. It's and initially, it's I, got a good mouthfeel. I thought the mouthfeel, yep. I thought the mouthfeel was that was it. Good texture. Uh huh. Let me get a sip of water and think about this for a minute. Yes. All right. Second sip. Now that we're acclimated, there is a touch of like a bitter wood note in there, <clears throat> but I don't mind it. I actually really like this. And it goes like that bitter note kind of continues through the finish, but I mean, I hear what you're saying, but I'm not so much focusing on the slightly bitter. The um, feels really nice. Yeah. To me, it's more of a almond and peanut butter mm. combo. Mm -hmm. uh, at times, like on the very front of the palate, it's more like actual peanuts, like dusty roadhouse peanuts. But then it goes into more of the peanut butter, almond butter type of thing. Really uh, quickly to get into the chest wheels, as we said before. Still sticking around, though, on the palate. We commented on the mouthfeel, the, te mm -hmm. the texture did, did. As, as, yeah. as, as, being, uh, as being pretty good. I think it's a pretty standard Booker's profile in terms of that oak level and that nuttiness mm -hmm. um, with the desserty and like the mouthfeel. It's pretty, it's a good representation of Booker's, I yeah. think. Like, is it my favorite of this year? At the moment, yes. <laughs> At the is. moment, this 2024-01 is our favorite, favorite of 2024. Will it remain my favorite? <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, I'd like to see how it stacks up against our favorite from last year, which, right. you know what? We'll do that in another round. I think we'll do that in another round, Patreon. Chad and Sarah, right. Um, but also what we want to do is let it sit in the glass, especially since this was a fresh crack. Uh, so we will push it aside, come back to it about 10 minutes later. Also, our palate will have returned more to normal, and then mm. we might talk a little bit about the story, because I see you got the card out here. But there is a card. while we wait, we want to tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the uh, Bourbon Bunker t-shirt that I'm wearing right here. The uh, glassware that we're using, also our rocks glasses and copitas. Uh, we have t-shirts and hoodies and hats and pens and challenge coins and bottle cut candles. Our new Elemental Elixir cocktail syrup is there as well. And more that's always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Join our community for as little as 
one buck a month. And where I mentioned just a minute ago that we would do this, compare it against the uh, our favorite from last year, that's yeah. a Patreon exclusive. It is. Uh, called Another Round. You also get access to barrel picks, yeah. uh, discounts on that merch depending on your tier, and more. There you go. Okay, we're going to take a little break. We'll be right back after this. And we're back. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, we've let it sit here in the glass. Let's see how it is opened up. Yeah, mm, in typical like, Booker's fashion, I feel like it is, uh, you know, gotten a little softer, a little sweeter. I'm still getting, yeah, that like praline, candied pecan, butter pecan type of thing going mm -hmm. on. Yeah, I really do enjoy this nose. Mm. I think it's a great, I like probably it. above uh, above average Booker's nose. I'm sure if you compared it to the Booker's of yesteryear, meaning like probably pre 2017 before, you'd be like, oh, well, the difference. But for modern day, modern day, because that's what we are. Sure. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and kind of the same thing, at least for me, that happened with the nose is happening with the palate. It's sort of uh, just becoming a little bit more um, approachable, a little less, not that it really had sharp edges before, but mm. you know, that, that first sip, mm, we were first both kind of like, like whoa, whoa. Hey, hello, <laughs> what a punch, you know. That's kind of quelled and it's becoming a little bit more silky feeling. Yeah. And yeah, it's really, uh, really nice. My only like ding for it is that, again, I'm getting this little bit of like bitter charred oak, like almost like bitter ash. It starts in the middle and then it kind of carries through to the finish. Mm. It's it's not making it unenjoyable, but if I could revise it in any way, it would be just, it's a little, take, little, take that little, out. Little, little, yeah, but, little. Um, mm. but again, I'm more sensitive to like bitter oak and oakier, more char. Sure. So for uh -huh. me, it's not sticking out a little bit, but it's I'm noticing it, but I still like it. I still enjoy. Yeah. I've well, almost drank the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, we got this for $99, um, which is great when it's not over 100 because we see it sometimes for like $115. Oof. Uh, we know it used to be more like, what was it, 60 uh, Yeah, 55 60 But that's been years now. Yeah, years and years and years. You know, I think for Booker's being one of Jim Beam's, like, you know, staple expressions, mm -hmm. I think still under that $100 mark, just barely, but under it. You know, it definitely, unfortunately, whether you want it to or not, fits with 2024. It does. Uh, um, so I think I would call this definitely an above average Booker's release for, as you said, modern day Booker's. Mm -hmm. We will try it against our favorite of last year, but normally, uh, and this is also kind of anecdotal, but the 01 of the years typically don't fare the best for us. So It'll I be, think this is a strong start to the year. It will be interesting to see how it measures up against the rest of the releases for the year and yeah. in another round, how it does against the best of last year. So recommend or not, I'm gonna go with the recommend on this I one. I like it. Yeah. I think it's a solid representation of Booker's. If you're a Booker's fan, I feel like you won't be disappointed. This is not a off profile one. It's not a, a below average one. It's not so far. I feel like you'd be happy spending that 99 bucks if you like this profile, because mm -hmm. it definitely has, you know, it's the very beam profile. recognizable yeah. profile. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, what about the, little bit about the backstory, Sarah? Oh, it's named after, it's called, you know, Springfield Batch, and apparently that's where Booker No uh, was born and raised. So about 15, 20 minutes from where the distillery is now. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's the story. <laughs> That's yeah. the story. I didn't even look to see what the, oh, so it's like a picture of Springfield. Yeah, a yeah, little, little illustration little of clock Springfield. clock there. Mm -hmm. Looks like maybe a courthouse. Okay. Which is, yeah, That's not cool. too far from Bardstown, Marion County, Kentucky, Lebanon, or uh, what's it? Claremont. Where, uh, Claremont, but where is, uh, Makers is in Loretto. Loretto. So, you know, outside Bardstown, not too far from all that stuff. That's kind of Springfield's in that area as mm -hmm. well. Very cool. Well, hey, that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed as already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, see you all next time. Until then, drink more bourbon.